Hey y'all, it's me the KJ. Today we're doing a read with me. So today we're reading this chapter, but we're gonna be reading the first chapter, and then in the next video I'm gonna be reading the second chapter. Today we're reading this book called Sarah Playing and Tall. So we finna get started. So when I get started, I had to put this bonnet on y'all. Cause I don't like to wear my hair looking because I didn't have it in for three days and it's getting messed up. So I'ma put this bonnet over it like this. Okay y'all, so anyways, if we get to the book. Chapter one, did mama sing every, oh wait, hold on. Let me tell y'all why I'm reading. Y'all, the reason I'm reading so it can boost my confidence up in reading so when I go back to school, because I'm starting school, and plus I'm not a good reader. Like, when I was, like, last year in school, the teacher told me to read in front of the class, and I knew all the words. I messed up on one word, and I'm just stuck on that word, stuttering. I couldn't get it, and the class, they was all smiling, you know, laughing, and I felt so embarrassed and so dumb. But I'm not because I end up getting in front of class and reading. I volunteered to read so I could show them that I'm not slow. And I went and read in front of everybody. So anyways, we're going to start this. This is to help me with my reading and boost my confidence up. So, yeah. Okay. Chapter 1. The mama sing every day as Caleb. Every single day he sat close to the fire with his chin in his hand. It was dust and dogs laid beside him on the warm hearthstone every single day i told him for the second time this week for the 20th time this month for the 100th time this year in the past few years and did papa sing too yes papa sang too don't get so close to the oh wait you don't say that it says don't get so close caleb you'll heat up okay now we're going to the next page he pushed his chair back it made a hollow scraping sound on the hearthstone and the dog scattered. Lottie small and black wagged her tail and lifted her head. Nick slept on. I turned the bread dough over and over on the marble slab. Slab. On the marble slab. On the kitchen table well. Papa doesn't sing anymore, said Caleb very softly. A log broke apart and crackled in the fireplace. He looked up at me. What did I look like when I was born? You didn't have any clothes on, I told him. I know that, he said. You look like this. I hold up bread dough up in a round play ball. I had hair, said Caleb sarcastically. Not enough to talk about, I said. And she named me Caleb. He went on filling in the old familiar story. I would have named you Trumbull, son, I said, making Caleb smile. And Mama handed me to you. Wait, what? Yeah, and Mama handed me to you in a yellow robe blanket. In a yellow blanket. And said, he waited for me to finish the story. And said, I, I sighed. And Mama said, isn't he beautiful, Anna? And I was, Caleb finished. Caleb thought the story was over. And I didn't tell him what I really had thought. He was humbly and plain, and he looked it, and he had a terrible holler and, and a horrible smell, but these were not the worst of him. Mama died the next morning. That was the worst thing about Caleb. Isn't he beautiful, Anna? Her last words to me. I had gone to bed thinking how ratchet he looked. Bro, why say that in a book? What they mean by that? What is ratchet? I'm going to look what that means. I know what ratchet means, but this one is spelled different. You feel me? So I'm going to look up what that means, y'all, because... Okay. Oh, ratchet. Ratchet. Oh, it says a person that is very unhappy. Okay. Or something similar they said of poor quality very bad okay i don't get what that means still but all right y'all and i forgot to say good night i wiped my hands on my apron and went to the window outside the parents reached out and touched the place where the sky came down thought winter was nearly over okay that word right there parents mean grass tall grass, longer tall grass, and I know that because I looked it up last night when I was reading this. 
There were patches and snow and ice everywhere. I looked at the long dirt road that fawed across the plants, remembering the morning that Mama had died, cool and sunny. They had come for her in a wagon, taken away, I mean, taking her away to be buried. And then the cousins and aunts and uncles had came and tried to fill up the house, but they couldn't. Slowly, one by one, they left. And then three days later, seemed long and dark like winter. Days. Even though it was, even though it wasn't winter, and Papa didn't see me. Y'all see how I'm stuttering right there, y'all? And it's the easiest stuff I know. Even though like I'm, I'm when I'm by myself, I can read. Even though I'm by myself, but it's really like I'm not like the. It's like I'm reading in front of the class right now because I know that people is watching me on YouTube and the camera is in my face, y'all. So I'm gonna imagine the camera is not in my face and I know people from school probably gonna be viewing this because it's like three girls that be stalking my channel. Definitely one of them. They don't like me. So anyways, I'm gonna finish reading y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna act like y'all not here. Isn't he beautiful, Anna? No, mama. It was hard to think of Caleb as beautiful. It took me three whole days for me to love him, sitting in the chair by the fire. Papa washing, washing, Papa washing up the supper dinners, I mean dishes. Why did I say? Papa washing up the sup, Papa washing up the supper dishes. Caleb tiny hand brushing my cheek and smile. It was the smile I know. Can you remember her song, asked Caleb, Mama's song? I turned from the window, no. Only that she sang about flowers and birds sometimes, about the moon at nighttime. Caleb reached down and touched Lottie's head. Maybe he sang his voice low. If you remember the song, then I might remember her too. My eyes widened and tears came out. Then the door opened. The wind blew with Papa, and I went to stir the stew. Papa put his arms around me and put his nose in my hair. Nice soupy smell. That's stew, he, he said. I laughed. That's my hair. Caleb came over and threw his arms around Papa's neck and hung her down. Caleb came over and threw his arms around Papa Nick and hung down as Papa swung him back and forth. And the dog sat up cold in town, said Papa. And Jack was fisty. Who is Jack? Who is Jack? They just bring in. This book don't make no sense to me, y'all. Who is Jack? And they saying random stuff. Like, son of God, y'all, I'm reading the book. Look, every word I'm saying, that's what they saying. So y'all won't think I'm done. The book don't make no sense, y'all. It's just random words and random words. I don't know who wrote this book, but okay.